of people in North Wales, just uh, past the place called Penchlendorif, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'll put it on the screen, and uh, just heading over to a beach called Black Sands Beach, is it Tom? Yeah. And uh, look at these views on the way. I think we may even see a steam train in a minute. Alright, okay, look cool. In front of us. Looks like there might even be a steam train, guys, so we'll keep you, uh, keep you uh, up to date on that one shortly. But yeah, look at these views out here. Not too shabby. We've got some mountains back here, the lovely lake, and uh, we can just about make out what looks like a steam train over here. So it's, there's a wall, and I can see the steam just rising. I don't know if you can see it, the steam just rising just up there. So I'm, oh, I might be going the opposite way now. I think we just missed it. But um, yeah, so. What we're going to plan to do, well, what we're planning to do in this video is we're planning to uh, showcase Wales and how beautiful it is. Because to be honest, we do a lot of content from abroad, um, and we don't do a huge deal of UK content. And uh, to be honest, Wales is like if, if the UK is a crown, Wales is the gleaming diamond, diamond in that crown. Wow, look at this. That's quite nice, isn't it? Um, so it's, it, it needs a lot of love and respect and uh, to be showcased in, a, in, a, in its most positive light because it's such a beautiful country and the people are really cool. So we're going to go and look around the beautiful parts of Wales and uh, North Wales, to be precise, we're in North Wales, so uh, the beautiful parts of North Wales and uh, we're going to explore it for ourselves as we've never been here, so this is the first for us as well. So, you excited Tam? Absolutely. Let's go. There we go people, Black Rock Sands Beach, one of the few beaches you can actually park on as you can see here look, look at this, absolutely beautiful and just down here if you have a little close look you probably just about make it out in the horizon there's a castle, all these mountains off into the distance, beautiful gleaming water and these mountains over here as well, absolutely stunning. So. Zoom out again. <laughs> I always do that, don't I? Um, as part of our little uh, our little trip around Wales, we thought we'd start here or North Wales. We thought we'd start around here uh, and show you around. Um, and yeah, oh bless her! That woman's car has been absolutely covered by seagulls droppings. I won't show you. Give her a, give her a bit of a break. We've had it happen to us a few times. But um, yeah, we're going to step out now. Go and look around this beach. The sand looks really good. Look at that nice crisp sand. Not the gritty, grainy stuff, the stuff that doesn't get on your shoes too much, so you should be able to have a good stroll around here. And we'll go and explore it, so let's go. Right, people, on the beach, and uh, just gonna get closer to that castle, because I wanted to show you that castle, but uh, I couldn't get close enough. But you'll be able to see why this place is called Black Rock Sands. Black Rock Sands? Yeah, Black Rock Sands. Black Rock Sands is because, well, look at that rock over there. The rock is black, so ap aptly named. But let's get a little bit closer over here. I do apologize for the wind as well, guys. I can't control it, we're by the sea. I could wear a wind muff thing, but to be honest, it actually reduces the audio quality somewhat. So we might just have to live and learn, or live and get by, or whatever you call it. But what I really like about this beach is that the sun is really tightly compact. So I'm walking on it right now, as you can see, and I'm not getting sandal in my shoes, which is quite nice. And uh, we're going to have a little look at the water. I won't hop in because uh, I haven't got my swimming trunks with me today, but uh, to be honest, wasn't really no knowing what to expect from the beach. But look at that. Lovely clear water. Somewhat reminds me of the waters that we saw in Cornwall. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit, whoa, I did it again. Bad habit. I'm going to get into, I uh, can't get a bit closer to that castle to show you. But whilst we're here, look at this view around us. Look at that, guys. That is absolutely unreal. Here we go, guys. So there's a better look at the Black Rock. And uh, you can just see the years of coastal erosion, what it's done to these rocks and smoothed it out. And caused some pretty amazing uh, things. Look at these. Some right cool views around here. And then you've got these ancient rocks as well and barnacles. Mental. Little cave systems. Very impressive. There you go guys, it's as close to the castle as I can get unfortunately because uh, there's quite a big puddle of like, water that's gathered across here. 
and uh, I don't have the correct footwear unfortunately I did try I did try for you guys but uh, my shoes got damaged uh, when I did the hike around Snowdonia <laughs> my shoes weren't quite uh, quite built for that kind of walking but let's just appreciate that rock formation one more time and the absolutely beauty or the absolute beauty of this beach so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and pick another random place we have a guidebook from the guy who's running the uh, place that we're staying at and by the way the place that we're staying at is incredible uh, we're gonna cook up a barbecue later in the video if the weather holds up so uh, we'll show you around that if you've not seen it yet it's uh, there's a whole video dedicated to it if you're interested but we're staying in an off-grid caravan which is really quite unique but the guy who runs the caravan Tim really cool guy respect him um, he uh, he's provided us with a guidebook with some beautiful locations around the area and we've also done a little bit of research as well so let's uh, flip a random coin and see where we end up and we'll show you it all right so now we're heading to a place called Clickliff I think that's how you pronounce it Clickliff I think he's reversing yeah he's, he's having to reverse um, and we're driving on quite a narrow road to get there. Look at this, this has been mental because there's been cars coming down this way as well. And uh, thankfully we're, we're kind of lucking out because each time we bump into a car, there's a passing place to let them slide through. But uh, yeah, look at these views guys. Look, this is Wales, man. Like rolling beautiful hills, mountains everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, so the castle we're going to, Clickiff, is uh, what we saw when we was on the beach we couldn't get near so we just thought hey if we can't get there we might as well go there itself and go and check out the castle in person so let's go and check it out there we go people so this is Clickiff uh, I think it's like a little seaside town let's have a look over here look so this is how how it's spelt Clickiff I'm pretty sure that means cricket. I thought, again, that's, I'm not sure if that's the correct assumption there, but that's the views, which uh, we were on the beach down there a moment ago. And uh, there's the castle just up there. So we're gonna get a better look at that and a better look at Clickiff as well. Right, so we're gonna start heading over now to the castle. I do realize as well that I could have just walked down there because uh, the, uh, What's it called? The Black Black Sands Beach is just literally just over there, just past that rock. So I could have walked it under the right conditions. I probably would have, um, but instead we drove to Clickiff. And uh, wow, some of the roads on the way were mental, absolutely crazy. Um, and uh, I love the Welsh language as well. Let's have a look at this. It's such a cool looking language to, to look at. Yeah, I mean, it's got, it's got just a really cool, just a really cool language. And uh, yeah, we're going to go to the castle now and go and see what it's like. And there we go, people. There's Cliff Castle. And uh, I promised you I'd get you a bit closer than I did. <laughs> and uh, what castle this is, with some very interesting history. 13th century. And uh, it was actually conquered by the English, unfortunately. And then uh, fell into a state of disrepair. And it's kind of been left like this now pretty much but you can still visit it unfortunately for us we uh, chose the wrong time and it's closed for visitors currently but if you get a chance do visit but also look how beautiful the uh, the villages itself of Kukif mm. very beautiful but very very steep <laughs> so it's a good workout we've been hiking all day so we certainly need to practice but look at that beautiful castle it's as close as I can get guys but there's a center in there that you can go and get uh, I think £7.50 to get in you pay and then you get oh here you go so here's the uh, information if you're interested grabbed ourselves an ice cream a banana ripple from this place here Cadwalders Go on, Sam, give us your thoughts. Banana ripple, interesting. Oh, great, look, this happened to me in Albania. She, she took the ice cream. <laughs> Let's give it a shot then, people. Mmm. Welsh ice cream. Oh, wow, that's really good. Oh, nice. Oh. Guys, I love Wales. More and more. What Absolutely. a country. Brilliant. Oh, Uh, 
how beautiful was that? I mean, just like all of Wales, as you can see, looking out of the car, it's uh, a rather beautiful country. But um, we're now on our way to a place called uh, Port Merion, I think it's pronounced, or Port Merion. Uh, I do apologise if I, about any of the pronunciations of the places here in Wales, by the way, I'm certainly, uh, you know, not very good at pronouncing Welsh uh, town, village, city names at all. Um, though I do know actually, I, I remember watching, uh, there was this English YouTuber and uh, I will say it the way he was saying it and I'll correct him. So he was saying Lanelli, Lanelli. And just hearing him say that, even as an Englishman myself made my ears melt. It's Llanelli, two L's, Llanelli. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that very well myself, but uh, you know, as an Englishman, I hope you uh, give me a bit of credit for trying, guys. But um, yeah, very, very difficult places to pronounce. I mean, to be honest, we have them in England as well. We've got Leicester, uh, which yeah, we went through to get here, actually. And uh, that can be quite, that can stump some people how that's pronounced in Worcester. That's another one. And uh, quite a lot of places in London as well, such as, uh, I'm trying to think of, Marleybone. They used to catch me out all the time. I was like, how the hell do you pronounce that? Marleybone. Such a strange place name as well, but yeah, just driving through the uh, Welsh countryside now on our way to Porth Midian or Porth Midian, Port Midian. Not, I'm gonna, I will check this uh, pronunciation when I get a chance, guys. Uh, heading over there now, according to our guidebook that we received from the guy who's uh, renting us out his uh, plot of land, um, it's an Italian esque style village and a film called The Prisoner, I believe it was, was filmed there. So, uh, that should be quite interesting as well to see what that's like, and it's only. You know, 17 minutes away from where we were in Clickiff, so uh, yeah, quite happy. Looking forward to it, so let's get there. Here we go, guys. So, the Port Merion uh, section of our journey begins, and you can see that we're just arriving here. And this is a pretty good start. Look at this. Wow, it just goes to show you should always take your recommendations of places to visit from the locals. So again, big shout out to Tim, the guy who owns our place that we're renting out from him. Not only did he, there was a fantastic deal on the place we're staying in, but uh, offered some fantastic uh, recommendations for the local areas. And uh, yeah, he, uh, he's certainly done, done as well. This is beautiful. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm just gonna walk you straight through and just give you my first impressions as soon as I see Port Mary in itself. Are we walking in the direction, the right direction? Yeah. Yes, I believe we are. <laughs> I think it's that way. And uh, we'll see what it's like. So hopefully not walking on a car area. Is there a pathway down there that we can take? Oh, that's uh, oh, that's not good. The village is now closed for day visits. Okay. How interesting! The vi the village gets closed. Village closes at half five. Yeah. The village. All right. All right, guys. So I've got some bad news for you. The village closes at half five, but we have got we have got one more day left in Wales. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head off. We're going to come back here tomorrow. And there's another place I wanted to show you as well, which is on the uh, North Wales coast. So uh, when we came here to Wales, we came through Birmingham. Uh, but the alternative route you can take is to go uh, through Chester and down that way. But as you go through that way, it takes you through the little coastal Welsh towns and villages. So we'll do that. But we really want to see Port Merion. Uh, we had no idea that it had a closing time, so that's interesting. Uh, but now we know that, we'll return here tomorrow. Um, free parking as well which is pretty cool we'll return here tomorrow and what we do is we'll head back to the uh, caravan that we're staying in and the plot of land that we're staying in and we'll cook up some uh, Welsh grub because we've got some uh, some Welsh food so let's do it on a today I learned episode as well I just realized that the uh, Welsh word for exit is Alan which is pretty cool or Alan but uh, yeah <laughs> that's quite that's pretty cool actually uh, that's <laughs> an interesting little fact for you and I was just curious, oh, I wonder how much a day pass is because I found out you have to pay to get to Port Merion, no problem. A day pass, guys. You ready? I do apologise for the flashing lights, let me just zoom out a little bit. 20 quid to get in. 
Tam's just found out as well. I'm really sorry guys, right? I'm sure Port Merion is stunning. I have no doubt. But 40 quid for us to get into a, a village, that's just too much for us. That's just too much. And if the website had a bit more information about maybe, you know, what you get for that money, that would have been good, but the website was unusable, guys. Um, so now we're gonna head to um, Port My Dog. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I do apologize if that's wrong. And uh, they have a nice Tesco's there. And uh, I got yesterday some really nice Welsh ale. Uh, Double Dragon, I think it was called. And I really enjoyed it. So I can't leave Wales without having that again. But, so we're not gonna go to Port Marion tomorrow, guys, unfortunately. Um, do look into it though. And if you're willing to pay 20 quid to enter it, then by all means do that. But uh, yeah, so this is, if you're wondering as well, this is uh, Port of My Dog. Uh, this is what it looks like. A very, very pretty little uh, place as well. Got the uh, like hilly, like you know, mountains in the background there. You've got some of these really old traditional style buildings. That's a HSBC, what a lovely building for a HSBC. And then you've got these lovely traditional buildings here as well. What's that? Look at that. Big building back there. Oh, no, no, just that nice building back there was a HSBC. And I was like, what well, interesting thing to do with a nice building. But um, turn it into a HSBC. But anyway, so we're not going to pay to go to Port Merion, uh, but we are in the next port place, which is Port Madog. And we're here to get a, uh, you know, the ale. And then we'll head back to our place that we're staying in. And from there, we will cook up some of our Welsh grub that we've got. Because when in Wales, you've got to do things the right way, you know, so I'm going to try and live true to the ways. And actually, before we came here, Sorry, just give her a second. <laughs> yeah, the old, the old, uh, the old sat nav there likes to cut in these videos sometimes. Uh, but yeah, um, we actually made uh, Welsh rabbit the other day, didn't we, Tam? Yeah. To uh, to commemorate, commem commemorate. That's a hard word to commemorate the visit. Um, and uh, you weren't keen, were you? But I, I love rabbit. It's very nice. If you're wondering, people, it's like cheese on toast, but on steroids. I love cheese on toast. It's better than cheese on toast. That cheese on toast doesn't do it justice. That's the closest thing. But hey, how many Tesco's guys, right? Do you know that has this backdrop here, right? Not many. So I know if Cham drives forward enough actually, and we're lucky, you might even get a sneak peek of the castle. That's my way of hinting to Tam to drive a bit more forward. She might not though, she might be like, no, screw him. I'm not gonna do it for him. And I'm sure I just saw a castle peeking up on the side there. There it is, just there. Church. A church, sorry, not a castle. Sorry, I do stand corrected just over there. Look how beautiful. So uh, yeah, and look at that. And what I really love about Wales more than anything is how proud the Welsh people are of their country and how much they love their country. All right guys, so back at camp. And uh, if you're curious, if you've not seen the previous video, this is where we're staying in this place just here. And we've got a cool little seating area there, which if it starts raining, we'll make use of that. We've, uh, we've got a fire going and we're gonna barbecue some food. That's the way it should be done. And uh, what we've done is we've actually gone off and got some proper Welsh lamb steaks okay, from the place itself. All right, I know it's Ashfields, which obviously I'm assuming is a, uh, a brand from um, Audi, but uh, nonetheless, it's got the Welsh logo, it's got the Welsh lighting, writing, and it's got Welsh lamb. We've also got Edwards sausages. I had some of these uh, in my previous vlog. I haven't had them barbecued though, so I'm quite looking forward to trying them because they are amazing. These are traditional Welsh sausages. And of course, for afters, we'll enjoy some Welsh cakes as well. But as I promised, I got myself Something a bit different today. I got myself some Welsh stout. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Feeling foil. Feeling foil. Uh, that's that's my best guess. Um, but uh, Welsh ale, 1878. I was going to get the Double Dragon, but I have I've not I've not tried this yet. And I spotted something else whilst I was there as well. I'm also going to have this uh, Celtic cider, and I can confirm it is Welsh because look made in the Welsh marches. So there's some information about it if you're curious. So I'm gonna crack open some cider and some stout and enjoy some Welsh lamb and some Welsh pork sausages and then for after some Welsh cakes. So boom, and look at that. Nice place to sit and get warm 
in these beautiful wooded areas. So what's the plans for tomorrow then? Well, obviously, as you know, we can't go to Port Medion now because uh, unfortunately, it costs us 40 quid to get in and uh, we'd like to try and budget where we can. <laughs> this place that we're staying in for two nights cost us 100 quid, 100 quid. We split it down the middle, 50 quid to stay in this place for us, 50 quid a night, mental. And uh, so as you know, we're not going to Port Medion, but we've got another roll of the dice again tomorrow because we've got a few places nearby that we can visit. And then there's one very special place that we want to visit on the way home because we're going through the North Welsh coast as uh, we look to return back to England. So uh, there's a beautiful area just near there that we want to pass through in order to get here. So I'm going to cook up this food. We'll give you a review of some Welsh lamb and some barbecued pork sausages. And then uh, we'll give you our thoughts on the Welsh cakes and also the Welsh ale and stout. Sorry, stout and uh, cider as well. So let's get these cooked and we'll uh, give you our thoughts. All right, people say, so just whilst waiting for it to cook, I can't, I can't wait any longer. I'm gonna try out this, uh, this cider. So let's get it open. Don't worry, I've got a bag down there. I'm not littering in the, the forest. Oh, well, it smells pretty good. Oh, wow. I'm not a big cider drinker, actually, but uh, that is very refreshing. Do you want to try it, Sam? I'll flip the camera around. It's all right. It's not bad, is it? Very, very crisp and refreshing. Mm. I quite like that. So, adding more wood to the fire now, and uh, just waiting because obviously the fire to uh, meat ratio is quite, is quite, is quite. You know, got a bit of way to travel. So, slow and all that. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, it's going to take some time to cook these, I think. But uh, absolutely, you know, patience is a virtue and all that. You know, good things come to those who wait and all that. But. Uh, We'll keep persevering, and if, to be honest, it doesn't work out, then we shall just go and take it and uh, it cook it inside the, uh, the old caravan there. But no, we might be able to get that barbecue char flavour on there for the very least. So we'll keep persevering now. Let's see how we get on. That, that's starting to get a lot, quite a bit hot. And actually, what's the here as well? I might quickly review this ale. I'll hand this uh, over to Tam. Um, there we go. So the stout, sorry. I do apologise, guys. Not ale. Stout. Different thing. Like a ale on steroids. So I'm new to the world of stout. So for context, I usually drink rum and I usually drink uh, uh, ale personally. But uh, I've been trying to dive into a few different things. I'm not really a big drinker, but when I'm out and about, I like to try local drinks and I usually try a local beer. But actually, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. So stout. That's the best one yet. Do you want to try, try a bit, Sam? You're not a stout person. So there you go, people. Give that a go if, you, uh, if you're over in Wales. Very, very nice. That is very, very tasty. Very, very, oh, it's just, oh man. I'm gonna go and nick that now. Let's see what a Welsh sausage is like on the barbecue. It's oh. like even better. Inside it, it's quite a coarse grind. It's like, it's like you can really taste the meat. You know what I mean? And you can tell it's a good quality pork as well. I tell you, it'd be nice as well, actually. Fry a pan of leeks in butter and serve that with a bit of mash in these sausages. Oh. That would have been killer. Welsh leeks sautéed in a bit of butter with some uh, bit of thyme. Some of these sausages. You know what we'll mash. have to buy to take home tomorrow, then, don't you? I'll see, I guess some of these sausages for the trip back. Um, absolutely. Mm, look at that, a nice little char on that. I've got to say, the lamb is really nice. I've had some. Oh. <laughs> it is the best. It is banging. That is lovely and tender. Perfectly cooked mm. as well. A bit too hot for my hand, but... Mm. Of course it's perfectly cooked. You made it, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Welsh lamb, 
brought in Wales. Say no more. Morning people, so we're leaving today and uh, yeah, cool little night here um, and we've been thinking about where we want to go. We've got a couple of ideas. It's raining so we'll probably be avoiding beaches today because uh, rain and beaches don't really go too hand in hand. We were very lucky yesterday actually with the Black Rock Sands Beach. Um, that was like a beautiful day but it has been raining quite a lot but uh, yeah with uh, Tam repping Team McGrath look at that what a legend and uh, just finished our Welsh cakes having a lovely cup of tea and hey can't think of a better view really can you <laughs> you know what I mean like, all of that out there and whatnot. as I say got some bananas for the trip gonna have a bit of milk you know what I mean so happy days so <laughs> I'll say we've got a you're right there Tam she's out there packing her lungs up um, we got a long trip home, but as I say, we're going through the Welsh, uh, the North Welsh coast, <coughs> and uh, yeah, but there, there should be some interesting things on the way there. We've we've seen a few things online, so uh, as long as you'd have to pay twenty quid to get into them, we're all good. Now we probably will come back and visit Port Merion one day. Um, Absolutely. You know, we don't know anything about it. What it, it might be incredible value for money, twenty quid. But I don't know, when I actually think about it, 20 quid, like, 40, let's say 40 quid, you know what I mean? Like, for both of us, that's that's quite that's quite a few pennies, you know what I mean? And 40 quid, like 20 quid can get you into a, in, in England at least, can get you into a couple of our zoos for a whole day. Like a whole day's worth of stuff. Like if Port Merion's like a whole day's worth of entertainment, then fine, you know, probably worth it. But I just can't see how you know and I don't know anything about it I'm, I probably should have done some more research I just saw it in the guidebook and thought that sounds interesting I film I literally I honestly thought it was just a, a, a village that people lived in I genuinely did I did not think it was uh, a uh, like I'm assuming it's some sort of like a movie set or something I don't know what it is but uh, it would have been interesting to visit so we are planning to come back to North Wales for absolute sure because uh, we love it here but yeah you have to let us know in the comments if you're from Wales and you've been to Port Merion, is it worth it? Is it worth checking out? But we're going to hop in the car now and we're going to go and find a few more locations on the way back home. If we see anything interesting, I'll get time to stop the car. I'll get out, I'll get some footage for you and uh, showcase a bit more of Wales and then head back to England and uh, all the, the flat mountainless land in England. Hey, don't, don't knock England though. It's still a very beautiful country in parts. You know, if you get over to Derbyshire, and you get over to the uh, Peak District, the Lake District, stuff like that. We do have some nice areas, but Wales is just whoosh, whoosh, everywhere you look. Just mental. It's so, so beautiful. But right, let's get in the car. Let's go and have a look. All right, guys, just going down this road here, right? And a massive, massive truck. I think it was like... Petrol, Tank. diesel, tanker yeah. kind of thing came down here. I was like, whoa, bruv, what's going on? So, uh, he reversed a little bit, yeah, for me to give one. He helped us out, but look yeah. at this, this is pretty cool, isn't it? Look, some of these views. I'm so glad I weren't doing 60 down here, like it says. Yeah, apparently it's 60. I highly doubt that, but yeah, when we're thinking to ourselves, man, we really hope we don't get a car come down here, and we got better than a car, we got a bloody truck. So, uh, yeah, the adventure continues, but yeah, Wales is a, <laughs> it's a very interesting place to drive. There's a lot of roads like this, and uh, definitely not for the faint of heart, I tell you. There's, uh, there's drops everywhere, um, and uh, yeah, you're always driving on a really high incline at some parts, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah, looking forward to getting off this big trail thingy that we're on, because I'm a bit of a pansy. So, as you can see guys, you know, poor Bob bless his heart, um, we're now driving up a hill, essentially, and yeah, he's absolutely cacking himself. <laughs> um, turn it to the left so you guys can see what the view is. Yeah, it's quite a drop. <laughs> <laughs> but, ah, oh, it is absolutely amazing. You know, if I could honestly stop the car and get out, Take it all in, I would, but unfortunately, it's just like a single carriage road. Yeah. A 
biker. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I saw the drop, guys. I mean, I, yeah. Just a bit more this way, love. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, honestly. You'll be fine. Just. <laughs> we we drove up higher. Don't worry. I promised myself that this wouldn't happen again. And, uh. <laughs> I, uh, I lied. So guys, yeah, this, this is something that you might come across in Wales. Uh, if you're a soft English folk like us, <laughs> well, okay, me, then uh, you're not gonna like that too much. I, but, don't, uh, like, I don't like heights myself, but, but give, you know, I'm pushing that out the window. And we're going downhill now, so I feel a bit better, but I'm just hoping that we don't encounter a car, because uh, oh, Lord knows how we'll get around that. <laughs> We ain't going anywhere, mate. It's your turn. You go. I'm, like, I'm a stubborn English person. <laughs> that's it, yeah. Englishman. Englishman. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's uh, oh, no, yeah, a little place down there. But yeah, that's it. My lord, look at this, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Crazy kind of roads to drive, you know. Mental. The views are lovely, obviously, but yeah, these roads to drive them, man, they're absolutely crazy. Like, so it's like very limited visibility, and like, you know, don't know where you're going half the time. <laughs> it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere, but uh, all part of the adventure, I guess. Um, yeah, not far to go until we get to our destination, but each time you go around a corner, you're just kind of thinking to yourself, man, I really hope that. Uh, there's not going to be a car because I can't see many passing places around here and it would just be a reverse drop. There's one just there, thankfully, but yeah, they're not, they're quite few and far between. But uh, we push on, we soldier on, guys. But yeah, if you come to Wales, this uh, might be the kind of road you're looking at. All right, guys, so we are at the Clydian um, National Park and uh, this place is pretty damn amazing. Now, we had to take quite a diversion to get here to show you guys this place. Um, because to be honest, as I say, the original plan was to go through the North Welsh coast um, and then through Chester and then that way. But then we ended up taking a bit of a, a diversion and now we're basically gonna be going through Derbyshire to get home, which is quite nice because we quite like going through Derbyshire. Mm. It's one of the nicer parts of England. So uh, we'll get to enjoy some more nice views, but uh, let's have a little look what we've got here so far. Look at that, guys. Absolutely amazing. So we're gonna have a little stroll around this national park, do a bit of hiking, um, and then, you know, what, what better way to end our trip to Wales than one last hike in a beautiful area like this so we're going to find some spectacular views share them with you and uh we'll give our thoughts on wales and uh the country itself so let's do it We've been hiking for a while, it can get quite steep around here. We haven't found anything yet, but we're still looking. This has pretty much been our view for quite a lot of this journey so far. But I'm a firm believer in good things come to those who wait. So I'm gonna push on and hopefully this hike will yield a beautiful view. Here we go. So I had to drive down quite a mental road to do this. So. Uh, yeah, wasn't the easiest thing for me because uh, I'm a little bit of a uh, pansy when it comes to heights. But let's see if this was worth it. This is my first look at this. As I say, I literally went down this this hill down here and then uh, could have gone up there, I guess. But unfortunately, we're a little bit pressed for time. And I really wanted to show you guys something other than a beach and a castle. So let's see what we've got up here, guys. You ready? Wow, wow, wow. Take a look at that, guys. Whew. My word. 
Look at that. See where that car is down there, look. <laughs> That's where we had to drive. I'll show you that in a minute. I hacked myself. But there you go, people. Wales, what a country. All right, people, so there we go. We're on our way back now to England. Uh, and yeah, Wales has been absolutely amazing, and it's, um, it, has. it really has. No, we don't want to go home. It's, it's been that good. There's, you know, very few places that we visit that we're like, oh man, you know, I don't want to go home. I'm not ready. Yeah, you know I mean, but Wales, I could spend a couple of weeks here, and I'd still, there's still, I still wouldn't have even touched the surface of what's here. I mean, there's vast mountains, beautiful lakes, you know, long stretches of crystal clear beaches surrounded by mountains everywhere. There's history. There's old castles and ruins and forts and. The list goes on and on and on and on. Now the one thing that, the one downside for me is some of the roads are terrifying because I'm really scared of heights. So some of those roads get really hilarious. high up. Sam doesn't really mind heights as much. But it's strange actually, because when I'm on an aeroplane, I'll usually I usually sit. I don't like heights. I'll sit near the window. Height. I don't like heights myself. But you can cope with them, can't you? These these mountain I roads. I have no choice to because you got to, yeah. Once it. you're there, you're committed to it. Yeah, that's it. I have no choice that's to. It, yeah. I wish I could sit there and close my eyes. Yeah. So that's what I do. I just close my eyes. But uh, but yeah, no. We honestly, we've loved loved every minute of Wales. It's just been incredible. Mm. And in fact, we're already sitting here thinking of uh, when we're going to come back. Absolutely. To be honest. We're gonna, yeah, we're definitely coming back. I'm thinking. A couple of months we're probably going to return and bring our actual family here because we just want to spread the word now we want to show show we want to share wales and uh, share how incredible wales is with with all of our friends and family and uh you know obviously uh i don't know where the people of wales stand with tourism and stuff and people visiting wales um some people don't like tourism some people welcome it we'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments if you are from wales um but we are so glad that you've um you've had us and honestly we've we've enjoyed every second of it it's it's been incredibly beautiful and you know as i say i, I recommend it to anyone um especially north wales as i say south wales we're going to hope to get down there at some point as well but i've been to south wales before many many years ago and i really enjoyed it then as well um and equally i've enjoyed this this trip as well you know once we go back to get back to england and there's no more mountains and stuff like that it'll be a bit of a shame but you know what man it's it's been amazing and uh we, we're we're we're, we're you know, dying to come back so anyway we really hope you've enjoyed this little tour around wales uh, we're trying to do a tour of south wales one day as i mentioned um, and we're going to come back and we'll try and cover more places if there's any places that you recommend anything like that again if port marion's worth visiting oh yeah I, do let us know do let us know yeah port port marion's worth visiting um and if i've slaughtered your town names i really do apologize um I'm just a simple Englishman really, um, just trying his best, so I try my best guys, I do apologise, um, but yeah, loved every minute, so thank you for having us, uh, if you're from Wales, and if you're not, give it a, give it a visit guys, and uh, you know, get involved as well, you know, you know, drink with the locals, eat with the locals, get to know them, they're great people, the Welsh, and I've enjoyed every moment, so anyway, we're going to head our flight to England now, and plan our next trip, and uh, we hope you join us for it, so see you very soon, take care guys.